It's time for the pistol round of Radix versus XL, the final map of our consolidation final. Dust two. Here we go. A pistol buy ups coming through. The match has started. We are live. And let's see how these guys are going to set things up. Smoke on Domino Diffuse Kit. Finally, Radix going to get that one out. They've kind of been ignoring that, they have. that uh, setup throughout the it's, uh, it's last couple of maps. So. It's good to see. It's good to see that um, they're finally picking up a defuse kit because XL very good at the very least getting on site and getting that bomb down. And as soon as they get that bomb down with no defuse kit on the CT side, it makes it that little bit harder for the CT to actually retake and, 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 and do anything in, in regards to getting the bomb defused. But anyway, we got uh, a fast, aggressive play from XL, which I said would work out for them. And uh, they're doing that in the first round. Mighty Max is slightly lurking, waiting for rotators to come through tunnels. Is he going to pick anything? Causes a little bit of damage, but not good enough for Smooth. Does take out Mighty Max there with USP. Now, all T's are on site. The bomb has been planted down for a few seconds. Cryptix is taking out Dom. Dance is returning and trading onto Luzza and they're entering the site. All three CTs coming out of tunnels and all T's are outside of doors and windows. It's a very interesting play. Is if it works out for them and then Denko says yes it's going to work out for them and Smoo says no it's not. <laughs> so it's a good trade there from uh, from Smoo onto Denko. That's two CTs against Sliggy and Cryptix and let's see what they can do here. Smoo! Brilliant play there from from uh, Smoo. Yeah they're killing both Cryptix and, and putting off a nice little 180 uh, almost onto, onto Sliggy to uh, kill him on windows. So well played from uh, from him individually. 4K for him, one Radix, a huge number of kills at the end of the day. Picked the round together for them as the retake works out so well for them. XL do get the bomb plant at least, but uh, at the end of the day, it is a Radix victory, and you can imagine he's probably flaming in the land hall right about now yep. because of that. So I can hear him from here. <laughs> but, um, peace out <laughs> for Masters. Rifle by in for Radix again, risky, but uh, so far they've been able to play it extremely well. Meanwhile, on the XL side, also going to be a, a, a force buy. So actually, XL point, they seem to like running that uh, force buy strategy despite uh, getting the bomb plant on the second round. So um, uh, we'll see how well they work it on this one. Frags could come in at any second. They could very easily turn this one around. But uh, And what we're seeing here from XL, again, they're forcing. Even though they lost the first round, it does tend to work out for them. So why not gamble and do it again? And it uh, looks like they're going to offer a, um, well, a setup here on, on A short. And I'm sure as soon as the smokes and the flashes go off from the T's hands, they're going to go into short like a bulldozer and uh, and play very aggressively and this is what we're seeing here flashes go out they're, they're turning around and uh, the CT so there's only two CTs on, on A so Smooth and Dom trying their best to defend all five T's are storming into short and S Dom does a good job to kill, kill Jenko but Mighty Max does trade up and kill Dom now the fight for short Mighty Max says hang on a minute let's not get burnt let's just wait a second but that's going to give more CT's of course time to rotate round to site A and uh and, and take out the T's. And it looks like Ziggy's in a bit of an awkward situation as Smooth takes him out with the M4. Goes to the second, going to pick up another second kill onto Luzza. Cryptic's finally trades up and kills Logsy, but Cray ends Mighty Max's life and Cryptic ends then Cray. So that leaves Cryptic in a 2v1 situation against Smooth and Dance. Dance is dead, now it's 1v1. Cryptic's against Smooth. He does have a kit, but that's not going to be good enough for him as he rotates around from short and, uh, and gets taken out by uh, Cryptic's uh, Tech 9. So well played from the T's to defend. 4K for Cryptics, fantastically done on the XL point player. And we're up to one to one here. XL doing some good work in that round. So the force fight actually does work, which yep. is Again. more than a viable strategy despite getting the uh, uh, bomb plant. So uh, Jenko with the flame, nice crumble, he says. You guys can't see it, <laughs> but we can in Radix. We force playing on their side. Three Deagles, two scouts coming up to uh, play an XL endpoint. Now, they're going to set themselves up towards the middle and tunnels area. Now, interesting, br brilliant oh, shot from Sliggy ah. onto Dance. He will play. But look, I was just looking at uh, Dom and Long. I mean, he does like to play very aggressively, and I've seen him play aggressively throughout the entire tournament, and it does work out for him. So it'll be interesting to see if he opts to do that again here on Long. And if he does, he might be able to take out the bomber, but we'll have to wait and see to see if he um, opts to, uh, to, to do that strat. But um, Laza causing some uh, damage onto Logsy at mid there. Well played from him. And um, they've got the man advantage. They've got the gun advantage. All they need to do now is HUD together, regroup, and execute onto the site. And it looks like that site is going to be A, taking from long. And uh, Storm is trying his best to retract and take, use that Deagle to his advantage. We know how good he is with the Deagle, but it's not good enough this time as he gets taken out by Cryptics. And so oh. does Smoo on Cryptics. Brilliant shot there from Logsy as he jumps up and gets a headshot from Scout. But another nice return from Sliggy with the Scout also. Now that leaves oh, um, Cray. No. Yeah, not a, not a great bit of uh, yeah bad team damage there but anyhow it's not going to really phase him too much as crazy in a 1v4 situation doesn't have a kit he's stuck in CT he's now on 22 HP not really much he can do looks like we're going to see another round in the XL's favour yep it will be burned alive and shot alive as Cryptix takes him down to death two rounds for the XL points side good playing from them and what just great I think the the highlight of that round were the uh, two uh, uh, scout players yeah. coming in from both, from both, both teams yeah. and the CT side. Pick towards middle, pick towards short, jumping scouts, headshots, 
instantly shut them down. Did a lot of work in those rounds for both sides. XL now, rifle by AKs, Galils. Scouts still out for Sliggy. Let's see if we can try to pick any more heads off because Radix haven't got any head armor for their side. USPs, 5.7s, and E250s. It looks pretty set up for, well, a pretty basic eco round, a pretty standard eco round in what should be a standard Counter-Strike round. Yeah, it's slightly frustrating because obviously Radix won the first um, first round, that being the eco. And, uh, I mean, most of the time when someone wins an eco, you think, oh, we've got guaranteed three rounds under our belt. But like you see in uh, and have seen in recent maps, XL gamble when they lose the eco and it looks work out for them. And so instead of them getting three rounds, it looks like XL's going to get three rounds in a row instead. Indeed, Dom tapping away, trying to see if he can find anything in this case. He does actually get a couple of dinks in, so he's tagged down some players to low HP, but again, it shouldn't be anything that XL can't handle. They're just going to start play. cleaning him up. Scott's with a 3k already. One more go down, and that's the crate. Oh, wow! Double shot from jumping picks up Cryptics. Bit of Keely play there. <laughs> if only it quickly, yeah. If only it went a little bit further. Sliggy shuts him down, but well. Not a round victory, but a good moment for us here at the desk. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> not a bad effort there with the USP shot causing some damage. Didn't obviously do enough, but um, why not give it a try? Because it did work out. Well, it almost worked out, should I say. But um, we've got to buy from both teams here. CTs can, affi can finally afford to buy now, and they're going to try their best to get back into this game. But look, we're seeing a very aggressive play from Team XL as they all five Ts storm out into B. Smoo gets one kill, but unfortunately for him, Luzza gets two, Sliggy gets one, and that puts Dom and Dancy in a 1v4 situation now. I'm sure we're going to see the bomb get planted anytime soon, but Luzza is playing very aggress aggressively here on, uh, on window, trying to spot any CTs that are trying to rotate round. And it looks like Dom and Dancy are going to do the smart thing and save those M4s, considering they haven't got any kits on their backs. Yep, not much they can do here. I mean, like I said, no kits. They've got the rifles and the Radix side. I mean, after those couple of rounds where they just had nothing, they're going to have nothing investing into this one. So best to hold on to them, try have something in the next round, maybe formulate a force buy. It'll be very, very difficult for them to do that in this case because uh, mm. there is no money currently left over in the reserves. So... No, it'd be interesting to see if they opt to buy out maybe some 5.7s, you know, force up slightly to work around Dom and Dancy's M4s. But, you know, <laughs> is that going to work out for them? Because uh, XL are proving to be very, very strong in this first half on Dust 2. So it'd be an interesting round six anyway. Four rounds for the XL side. And well, Dancy will be able to get Jenko nicely over there. So uh, at least they'll pick one back and do a little bit of damage. But, uh, I mean, XL, they can't be too worried about it. They've got lots of money. Running it up over the last few rounds. They'll get the double orb set up now. So Radix, well, making a leaf out of their own book in this case of the XL point side. Radix force buying in this next round here anyway. Having a couple of rifles. Sliggy, good shot. Takes down Cray. Nice wall banger through the front of the middle doors. Instant advantage for XL. A second AWP shot times on its way through the onto Dancy. And you can already see that is the advantage of having a double orb set up. The first pick. Already going towards the favor of Vexel. Darcy's down to 16 HP. Smooth gonna go see him go aggressive and take down Mighty Max at least, but the AWP is still trying in Sliggy. Just trying to spot out what you can there, but not going to come out of anything there. At least the trade-up does come through four on four. Yeah, hopefully XL are aware that they've done a bit of damage there on Dance and Smoo, and um, i like to see them huddle together and, and execute a site. And look, as, just as I'm speaking, it looks like they're going to regroup and, uh, and and execute onto A uh, slowly but surely. They've got the utility to uh, to pull this off. I think they've got the smokes in hand as we speak, and uh, I think they're going to be looking to throw this out any second now and make a nice entry onto short. Sliggy's in a good position as well, mind you, on long, so this could be uh, a good uh, execute onto the site. <laughs> Takes down one, I was going to say. Dancy's also in a very good position to shut him down, but Sliggy right onto it. Down the 9 HP, Dom trades out. Smoothie gets one, and the AWP finally chimes back in. Two on two situation. Sliggy has been incredibly uh, uh, valuable throughout this round. He's been the only player on the XL side to get kills. Gets uh, 3k, and of course, the uh, wall banger headshot earlier on. Now, Jenko will get the bomb down. It's his time to shine. His time to defend. He's on site, challenging on towards Dom, and he'll take him down. And now, the bomb plant is for the default area. This could end up going south. This AWP in the hands of Logsy. Trying to spot out Sneaky holding out towards the pit area. Logsy shuts him down. And there we go. It will be the defuse coming in for Dom. Second round on the board for Radix. Yeah, very well played from uh, Radix there. Uh, both Dom and Logsy working together, as we saw. I think it was Logsy that threw the flashbang, so uh, um, Dancy can get the the, um, the kill with the AWP, and uh, he did just that. Um, one on the round, and uh, now it's two rounds in Radix. Uh, Radix is um, favor to uh, XL's four. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens now. Round seven commences as we uh, as we talk, and um, it's a buy from uh, from both teams. And Luzza and uh, Sliggy are opting for a double warp setup uh, with uh, only Smith in hand on the CT side of an orb. So it's going to be interesting to see if this works in uh, XL's favour. We'll have to wait and see as the round goes on. 
Yeah, good buy up coming through. XL still rocking that double orb setup. It's worked out well for them. They're reinvesting into this round, so it's a little bit risky, but uh, either way, they've managed to have some very good results out of it so far. It's will that roll on to even more. Radix, meanwhile, only single orb setup for them. And uh, that will pretty much be all they wrote. And still haven't been able to get that double up set up on the board. And once they do, I think that will be very, very crucial for them. That could be a very powerful power play in terms of the uh, uh, Smoothie and Dancy power couple. XL, for the most part, will hold back and hold their tongues as they do approach middle area. And my mid to B split could come in. They'll have to watch out for Dom. If they got a smoke, they ought to use it now. So, that one out. There we go. It'll be Dom challenging on. Takes the first and the second. Shuts down Mighty Max. Expecting more, but it's not going to happen so far. 3 on 5 situation. Now XL will try to hit them towards B site. And then Sliggy watching out with the AWP. One peak from Logsy. Boy's going to take a shot. He's down. He'll go challenging. Cryptix takes him down. Cray trades it out. 3, 2, 1. All falling like flies. It's going to be Cray taking a double. And Sliggy going to be left alone on the site with a bomb. An AWP in his hand. The rest of the CT is rotating on through Sliggy. Trying to land us some effects. Misses both of them. Third peak. Gets him killed. Smooyak shuts him down. Third round on the board for the Radix side. Yeah, unfortunate for them. I mean, um, they've they done a split there on, onto B. And uh, unfortunately, the person that was playing mid for them got taken out swiftly. And uh, instead of the other teasers, they entered sight from tunnels. So they were just getting picked off left, right, and center there. And um, just pinned, uh, the CT just pinned them in like sheep, a herd of sheep. And... You know, destroyed them and obviously put them into a forced eco now, unfortunately. So um, if Radix play their cards right, they can definitely take this round as well. So that'll be two rounds in, well, three rounds in a row if they win this one. Yep, just pistols like you say. Only Tech 9's P250 for them to go in with, so it'll have to be uh, close, close quarters combat for this T side. Here we go, already entering on towards the site and Logs is going to start things off by spraying down one. Looking for the second spree, we're going to take down Cryptics and Sliggy Falls. And there's going to be love and falling as well. Logs in 3k. Smooth closes it out. 4 to 4. Racks will even the score once again. Yeah. And it uh, <clears throat> looks like XL are going to opt for uh, a buyer here. Probably the best thing to do. They don't want to let Radix uh, run away too much with uh, the round advantage here. I mean, it's even now, but um, if Radix um, kill uh, the XL team and win this round um, and, and win a fourth round in a row, it's going to absolutely destroy their economy. So they cannot afford to lose this round. It's definitely an important one for Team XL to stay in this. Double up, finally coming out for Radix, dancing smooth up. Here we go. This could be exciting things for them. Indeed. Uh, Rexel are going to be having the uh, AK buy-up meanwhile on their side of things. Uh, so, start their way up towards Longhouse. Three players over there. Dom's there in pit trying to defend. They will flash their way over. He's not going to catch any of that. He's going to spot out the heads. Takes down Sliggy. Going to give away his position. And now the rest of the teams, well, two teams in particular, rotating out towards Long to try and hold out. Assuming he does go down, he's holding face with his general angle, waiting for the picks to come in. Flashbangs, counter flashes coming in, finds off Jenko and forces him to go ahead and back off a little bit. Will finally pick out onto Dom and take him out. A one-for-one -one trade out. There's still two players to be dealing with. XL watching out for the backstabs, but nothing coming in from the right side, and they'll hold back towards the outside of Longhouse with a minute to go. This push is pretty much the flight. Yeah, they, they've got this both for even kill now. Dom's, you know, obviously dead on Team Radix and Stiliki's dead on XL. So I think right now, considering the time of the clock is only 40 seconds, XL's best chance is right now is to execute a site. And it looks like they're going to slowly work themselves up to short, getting some damage caused on them by uh, the likes of Logsy from uh, from Tunnels, mind you. But Mighty Max, his nose is there. He, it's not going to be enough, that information, no, because Logsy does kill him in the end. And Dancy follows up and kills Jenko. So that leaves the likes of Luzza in a 1v3 situation now against Cray Smoot and Logsy. He's going to have to commit to site A because the bomb's there and he's already fully committed. So he's going to have to go for it and Smoot's going to take full advantage of that fact and take him out with the AWP. Well played from Radix there. Makes it 5-4 and obviously destroys XL's economy. So they can either force with the 3k plus that they have or they can uh, choose the eco going into the, the 11th round with a full buyer. And looks like they're going to go for an eco. Yep, Radix in that round actually lost their AWP. So that's a bit of investment out of their hands, a bit of investment they can't really get back. So... Uh, all in all, that's a fantastic round out of uh, Exo at the very least to take that out of their hands. Still going to have to re require Dante to uh, reinvest in this round. So, up to them to do even more damage. Smuya gets traded out as uh, Jenko falls and Loza picks up a kill. Uh, but uh, so far, Exo. Well, actually, they've got themselves an AWP. So, actually, that's a very good play. Smuya's fallen. Cryptix has got the AWP in his hands. Last cannon will head it back over to Sliggy instead with the armor. So, you know, that's actually a very good start for uh, Exo. Take out a power player, take out a power weapon and uh, just try their best to shut down what they have left on their side. 
Yeah, true. I mean, to be honest, I mean, the city has got rifles here. It looks like they can go for a short push. They really need to rely on Sliggy to get an entry because without that entry, it's, it's going to be extremely unlikely that they're going to be able to get on the site and actually get the bomb down. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can get this pick. Sliggy's working up. He's, he's, he's a front man here. He's uh, at the front of the line. He's spying to spot out the CTs, but the CTs aren't giving him anything. As Don's playing very passively and he's waiting for his teammate Dancy to support him from long. And he's causing some good damage there, Don, with the Deagle there. So well played from him. And uh, he, not Deagle, M4, shall I say. And he takes out Sliggy with it. It's still a Live on site, he, he, he does cause some good damage onto the likes of Luzza, but Luzza does return well and finally kills Dom. And Mighty Max follows up and kills Dancy. Now that leaves Logsy and Crate in a 2 3 situation, but looking at Luzza's and Cryptix's HP, he does have a good chance at retaking his site. As we could just saw, he just threw an aid, he's killed Cryptix, he's only got Luzza with 22 HP and Mighty Max on 100, and it, it could happen for him, but Luzza is making it very difficult. Cray does get a good follow up there, he's got 8 HP, he's defusing the bomb. Is he sticking it? He's sticking it, can he get it? It looks as though he can. Oh, unfortunate there as Mighty Max probably gets him on one second to go on that defuse. Very close round. Very close round indeed, but it's 5-5 across the scoreboard. And as round 11 commences, we're going to see a buy from both teams. And that was a very close round, wasn't it? Great use of Molotovs from the XL side. I mean, that was... Uh yeah. Uh, that that was pretty intense, you know. You can't deny that uh, uh, the way that they tried to hold off the b uh, bomb from being defused was excellent. The problem was that Radix also had their smokes in their hands. So very good play from both teams in terms of using the utility. XL now back with the buy ops AWP on both <coughs> sides. Mighty Max and Smuya, and uh, they will enter their way on towards Long Sliggy with a great read onto Dancy. Takes him out to 49 HP, and XL will once again slow things down. But explosive out of the gate, straight out towards the long area. They've done this before, and they've rotated away. So. You know, Radix, not going to fall for, for a second time. That being said, they've got four players over towards that general area. Two on short, one on site, and one out towards middle. Logsy, who just got taken down by Mighty Max's AWP. So uh, XL, once again, a great start for this T side. And actually, take a look at this. Over towards the area of the right. uh, uh, T spawn. Cray goes aggressive, and Mighty Max reads straight into it. Hearing the footsteps, shuts him down. I he's been playing that aggressively. I mean, they, they fully bore. Um they won the, no, they almost won the last round, but they fully bought any money, mind you. And they know if they lose this round, they're going to be forced into an eco next round. So I really would have liked to see Radix play a little bit more passively that round, because quite clearly it's not worked out for them. But anyhow, Dancy does have the bomb in his possession on short. So he still has a chance to win this for his team. But Sliggy spotted him, and unfortunately for Dancy, he gets, ta he gets taken out by his AK-47 there. And that just leaves Smoot in a 1v3 situation. They know that obviously they're going to be rotating around to A and getting this bomb down, but is Smoot going to go for it, or is he going to save the AB? AWP. We know he likes to play aggressively. He knows he believes in himself. And he knows he's got the skill to outplay these T's. So it looks as though he's actually going to go for this and try and, and retake it. Also that towards the site, trying to keep things together. XL also getting a, a grenade out towards his general area. Spots out one. AWP picks up the first. And now two more to find. Jumping up with a 5-7. One question is, will he find it? He's got to find two more kills! Smooya, what are you doing? That is insane! Say jumps up and gets a shot. Mighty Max now alone in a one versus one. Are you kidding me? Smoothie is going for the defuse. Mighty Max sprays him down. But good God almighty, Smoothie, what are you made of? Yeah, thanks, Smoothie. I think I'm now deaf. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, due to Jay shouting there and, uh, and Smooth's great shot, mind you. But yeah, I'm definitely deaf in at least one ear. But anyway, <laughs> it was fantastic. It would have been lovely if he could have got the third kill and, and retook that site. But like I said, he definitely had the skill there to outplay them and, uh, and retake. And it was a good effort. It wasn't good enough as uh, the team, uh, that being Radix, have to uh, eco now. But it looks like we've got a pause. I don't know if it's the tactical one um, or someone needs to go to the toilet. But we'll have to find out and, uh, and resume the game very shortly. <laughs> I swear I got somebody better odd shot that and put it on Reddit because my voice just died. <laughs> Excel, six points. Radix are going to be on the eco after that round and uh, such a good effort. All gone to naught now. Scout coming out for Dancy. Cray's got himself the, uh, the AWP. M4. Wow, I'm completely flustered after that one. Jesus. For Mars out for Logsy as well. Going to be a force by coming in for the CT side. Excel also with a uh, full bite on their side. Should be a relatively good round for them, but Radix still playing for contention here. Four players over towards the tunnels area. Jenko going to lead the push in towards the middle area, and Smuya and Dancy are holding face towards CT middle. 
Yeah, Smear trying his best, of course, and Derringer to the 5 7 on mid. Unfortunately, he's not going to cause much. Um, he's always going to be calling this and relaying this information to his team on CTs. He must have heard them playing short, um, but they're not going to commit just yet, XL. They're going to, you know, play slowly, and uh, and they're hope hoping that Mighty Max and Sliggy can get an entry onto B, maybe, on the other side of the map before they decide to go to the site, uh, that being A. So, playing passively and waiting for uh, the CTs to make a mistake. So far, no one's making any mistakes. Very so going to get some early aggression out and just a little bit of chance tactics will work out for them. Samunia and Dancy tagged down to 61 and 75 HP, respectively. XL now making their way into the upper tunnels area. Cray's got himself locked off away from Mighty Max and Sliggy. Uh, well, I mean, so far it's going to be three players on that site. Jenko spots out one, takes him down with a very nice spray. Craze and Luzza start trading. It's a three on two, three on three situation, excuse me, now as Dom gets Jenko nicely played, gets a rifle for him. So that's an AK in the hands of the Radix side here. Smuya going to be denied it. He was requesting it, but it's not going to happen. And now it looks like Radix will set up a nice retake aggression coming out from Luzza and Dom will be in a good position to take this down. Oh, he peeks out and takes a very nice headshot. Sliggy and Cryptics now. Two players left alive for setup of this after plant Logsy back up towards the window area. He's watching out for anybody. And now the advantage switched back into the Radix favor. Dom moving on through. Box out Sliggy. Takes it down with a headshot. Looking for one more. Cryptics is now going to get shut down by Logsy as he does take Dom with him. It will be a sixth round on the board for Radix, even yeah. things up once again. And Luzza just typing there, a nice shot, Dom, and uh, indeed it was a nice shot from Dom. You know, he's uh, slowly peeking round from Lois to kill him, um, and, uh, you know, like Luzza had an AWP, so to get that kill was um, indeed impressive. AK is out for the XL side, and they're going to force their way back into this round. Luzza and Cryptics holding on to those two, but pistols for Sliggy and Jenko, and Mighty Max with the UMP on his side, Radix. Will also buy their way back, of course, after the round victory. AK saved, M4's out, UMP and Scout. This round could swing either way because it's a bit of a balked buy coming out from both sides. Yeah, it definitely could. Um, I mean, it's six years across the scoreboard, and uh, like we predicted, it was gonna, it's going to be a very close game. And uh, it's being just out. Smooth, good kill onto Luzza, though, mind you. Um, I mean, they do have some more weaponry um, over XL, and uh, they're using that to their, their advantage. And Dancy tries his best to get a bit of um, damage onto Jenko there with the scout from mid, but unfortunately doesn't cause um, any damage at all. And uh, Mighty Max, Skiddy, Jenko, Cryptics, they all have a good amount of utility. So they can go wherever they want, and uh, they're going to be quite successful wherever they go. A nice pop flash there um, for the Mighty Max to try and get a kill and, and gain some ground in mid. And uh, it's an interesting little boost here from Smoo. Let's see if this works out for them. It looks like it's going to. He gets a good kill onto Sliggy with this boost. He goes to the second. He picks up the second on the Cryptics. And that leaves Mighty Max in a 1v5 situation here. And is there much he can do in this situation? Not looking likely. You know, he retracts back. He's got the UMP. He's got a smoke in hand. But he really just needs to fend off as many CTs as he possibly can. And maybe try and grab a more powerful rifle. But we don't deny that that chance and that that dream and uh, destroys him with an AK um, onto his head. So it's another round in uh, Relics' favour, and as round uh, 14 commences, it looks as though XL are forced into an eco. Yeah, definitely. This is bad situation for their money because well, they're only on three rounds of loss bonus after this one. So they should just be able to get themselves together a buy. But Relics, meanwhile, are very very solid for the next couple of rounds. They've got some money they can build off of that if they end up winning, which at this present point is looking more than likely for them as the XL Cyber once again step themselves in towards Long House, the outside of Long. So it looks like there's going to be another push out towards the uh, Long area. I'm still sitting in pit, works well in this position last time, one for one trade out, but he's get a little more here. We'll start with Lusa, takes down Jenko, Dancy gets one on Lusa, going to be able to trade, but Smuria trades right back, two on four situation. And this is going to be one shot from Cryptics or from Dancy to take down Cryptics. Lusa, last man alive, one versus three, he's already taken down Dancy. Up for the ace clutch if he can find it. AK in his hands, but no armor. Only one flashbang. It's looking unlikely. Maybe a bomb plant at best, but he's got to run through at least two CTs to try and get this one down. Yeah, not really going to happen. I mean, he has a lot on his back, but it looks as though he's not really going to opt to save. He, 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 I reckon he's thinking he might actually go for it. He has plenty of time on the clock, so he can actually rotate all the way around to B, but unfortunately for him, and little does he know, that there's a CT waiting for him to do just that and push out of long. So they know exactly where he is now. He's trying to rotate through T-Base. They've called it. They know what he's trying to do. They're going to cut him off. One's going to go tunnels. One's going to stay T-Base in case he rotates back. But um, Luz's best option right now, yes, is probably to save. And indeed, he will not be able to. Asmuya shuts him down and burns himself alive to pick up. Actually, I thought he was picking up the AWP. I mean, so he's just throwing away a gun so no one can have it into the next round. Double AWP coming out for Radix now. This is where they can be so dangerous against XL with their full AK buy. They've got no AWP to challenge it with. So 
Lots of utility out for Radix. They can set things up. XL, they're limited on their side. Only Sligging and Mighty Max on one piece each. Genko on two. Luzza is the only one who can get out of the full set. And Cryptic is even really worse for wear as he does stand XL. Once again, going quick into the long area. One Orp is on its way to try and support them. It's going to be Dancy right there over on the site. Spots out as many, but Jenko spots out many more back towards CT side. They're moving very quickly on towards this site. And now it's going to be Mighty Max and Sliggy moving their way to try and see if they can take down that AWP. Dancy starts things off, takes one. Loza trading, Logsy and Mighty Max getting kills of their own right. It's going to be Cryptics burning in the fire. Jenko gets one through the smoke. It's down to a two on two. And the bomb is about to go down on the site here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Dom and Craig can do. They've both got kits on their back and uh, they're coming from both different angles. I mean, there's a chance that Dom can pull a shot off, but no, Jenko denies that as he kills him with the AK. And it just leaves Craig in a, two, a 1v2 situation against Mighty Max and Jenko. The bomb isn't planted, mind you, okay? It's still on, on the terrace back, that being Mighty Max. So there's a chance he could do something, but unfortunately for him, he only gets one kill and, uh, and Jenko soon, soon trades up onto Crane and... Um, that's 8-7 in Radix's favour. Exil getting the last round there in the first half, but um, going to the second, it's going to be interesting to see who gets the eco. It's, again, a very tight game. Well, we predicted this would be tight, and in this case, it is going to be very, very tight. 8-7, to seven, the closest scoreline you could hope for Radix doing. Well, mm. just slightly edging out the XL point side on their uh, CT side. Now it's going to be up to XL point to see the exact same on the vice versa. We are going to see a pause come out. I assume that's for uh, uh, technical reasons. or uh, for uh, uh Tactical, technical. Who knows? No, it's, it's, it's probably going to be technical. I can imagine yeah. that for this, this half time, probably going to be uh, uh, just for the uh, technical reasons. I mean, they're, they're so close. I mean, like, when you want to talk tactics, you really got to talk about that when you're, like, down at a disadvantage. Yeah, and it looks like um, it's definitely um, is it Radix that have called that in because it looks as though XL have already bought up and it um, looks like um, we've got the likes of Silly, Jenko, Mighty Max, Cryptics. They've all just opted for uh, a Kevlar buy uh, with Cryptics with a dec decoy. I don't know if that's going to help them too much, but still... They're just going to go for the kills. I mean, Luz has got the opportunity to maybe buy a kit if he needs to. Maybe with some flashbangs, I don't know. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see um, what uh, Radix opt to do because the other one's obviously called the pause in and um, I'm sure they're discussing some kind of a amazing strat as we, as we speak. Yeah, Luz with the kit will probably be the best player for them. We've talked about this pretty mm. much all this weekend, how crucial it is to have a diffuse kit on your uh, pistol round because that's a, that's a round that's usually is so crucial for the beginning of the half. And... With that, pit, with that uh, uh, diffuse kit, if you have to, if you are forced to end up taking retake, even if you don't want to, then you have that extra few seconds to be able to uh, 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 work off. And people, Which are vital. Like, yeah, f five seconds is not a whole lot of time, but when it comes down to these kind of games, it is an eternity mm. when it comes down to diffusing that bomb. Like you'll be holding that EQ for so long, you might as well get cramps in your finger. So I mean, that's such a key, key piece of uh, equipment. I hope Lazar goes for it because the rest of the. Uh, uh, CTs have bought up. Other than that, no utility for XL. Radix also probably going to be seeing a, a utility based buy. Um, mm -hmm. They like putting uh, 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 some uh, smokes and the flashbangs on several of their players, uh, at least one of them, to try and execute on towards the site. However, for Dust2, might just be maybe a smoke and a flashbang on one player and uh, an upgraded pistol for him as well, just to get on towards that B site, because B site is a very popular site to uh, rush during the uh, pistol round. Yeah, I mean, obviously, because we've got the pause coming in and Luz is on a $800, I'd, I'd like to see him, obviously, by the few I think it's going to be likely that he will do just that. But um, going over to Radix, I mean, obviously, they're, they're calling in a strat, and I predict that they're most likely going to buy up a large amount of utility and uh, play it very smartly, go into this round slowly, and, uh, and suss out exactly what site is best to take and execute before they actually do. So um, it's going to be a very exciting first, first round, I reckon, on this, uh, this second half. Definitely. Well, I think we're almost... Well, I'm not even sure if we are ready to go yet. Bit of a bit of a long pause. I assume at this point it is a technical pause. Uh, tactical? It is technical. Okay. My producer <laughs> just confirming me that it is technical. Oh, okay. so, 100%. so we've been talking about tactics all this time, but I'm, I'm sure they're also talking about the tactics whilst the technical difficulty is being fixed. Well, I'm not sure we're necessarily playing by the valve rules of, like, shut up when there's a, te a technical pause. But, yeah. uh, but particularly for these guys, I mean, like, you know... Again, there's still going to be strategy running through their minds, despite, uh, regardless of that. They're probably going to be thinking, what can I do as an individual, even playing into the... Uh, uh, <laughs> playing the technical into difficulty seems to be someone's bladder. Yeah, so it, it, does, it yeah. does seem like that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty popular technical yeah, uh, difficulty issue, right yeah. there. Mm. So, um, uh, 
Yeah, but you know, yeah. Despite despite it being a technical pause, you know, you, even a, it just as a natural sort of competitor, you're gonna be talking, you're gonna be thinking yeah. in your mind about, okay, what can I do this round to benefit my team? What can I do to win? So I mean, at the end of the day, you know, these are all things that are gonna that these teams are gonna be thinking about. Uh, but to just to go back to the buyouts real quick, it seems that Loza has opted not to go for the diffuse right. kill. So once it's again, be interesting that XL point, they're gonna completely ignore that strategy. Yeah, and uh, I, I I can't see Radix going into this round without buying utility in the smokes, flashbangs a lot because. I <laughs> I mean, this long, this long pause. They, they must be thinking up something slightly more technical and, and smart than just rushing in to B, for example. They must be thinking about a strat to, to commit to. And um, without any kits on the, on Excel's Excel's backs, if they do that and they play smartly, it's going to be around in their favour, and that'll bring it up to nine seven. And Excel do not need that. Definitely not. Well, um. Uh being on the Radix side, I mean, let's talk about their particular strategy. Because we talked about the, uh, the opportunities to go towards B, but I mean, like, if they do decide to go for a utility base fly, which we have seen teams do before, and they decide to go towards maybe uh, short and long and try That's to what execute I was hoping them towards do. the A side, that'd yeah. be a very interesting strategy with this uh, 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 with utility on their pistol round. But if they want to get that much utility out, they're going to leave a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, open air for no Kevlar. It'd be interesting to see. I mean, what I'd like to see from Radix ideally is maybe play you know one one T outside um, long, just holding that in case. It, any pushes coming to play from XL, maybe um, go to lowers to mid and smoke off mid so they can get onto the Xbox, get into short, gain that control, and uh, and then yeah, smoke off A site and pop flash it in and, and, and take short by storm. So that's the kind of strat I'd like to see Radix do. Looks like they are going to opt for a couple of smokes, a couple of flashbangs, so we are seeing some utility, so hopefully we're going to see just what we've been discussing. Well, smoke and a flashbang on Logsy will be the utility by smoke and a flashbang also on uh, Cray. We can't see it on our angle because we have got chat open. So currently it's covering up two of the players yeah. <laughs> on their, uh, excuse me, uh, on their uh, bias. But we have got a smoke and a flashbang on two different players. So it looks like it will be Rush B. Head over quickly to that B right. site and get themselves a little bit of blinded vision on their side. The smoke goes out, this blinds off smoke. Mighty Max. A great smoke. Yep. And it looks like this is exactly what we were talking about. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't obviously the short play that we was uh, we was hoping for, but still, uh, this smoke could gain them uh, that pick that they need on platform because there is a CT playing platform. Mighty's playing from door. And it's like going to use that smoke to their advantage now. They're going to slowly, slowly walk out now. They're jumping out, trying to get that oh. pick. Brilliant pick there from Cray onto Cryptics from platform. That is absolutely fantastic. And that's going to gain them the control that they need to get onto site B. And Mighty makes a position on Fortunately for him, it doesn't really give him much leeway. I mean, he's been forced out of the site. I mean, is that the best play to, uh, you know, spot to play? I guess he, he wasn't able to do too much because the smoke obviously, um, you know, forced him to get out of there. But anyhow, Smoo takes down two, and uh, and then Dom takes out Lugger, um, and then Dancy finishes Mighty Max off. And that was a very well played strat from Radix. Nine to seven. Nine to seven. A, a very, oh yeah, a very well played strat, and after the plant, it was just very easy for them to uh, pick things up. Headshots came in very, very quickly. They managed to uh, find the kills that they needed to find when they needed to find it. And uh, as a result, they'll hold on to their lead for a little bit longer. XL, XL endpoint, will buy into uh, force buy of the uh, pistols and armor. Flash bang and a smoke on Sluggy and Mighty Max, respectively, uh, each. And Radix, meanwhile, will start to send themselves over towards the uh, longhouse area. Uh, two CTs actually coming in from the back lines and actually going to push up towards middle, trying to see if they can set up a backstab. So they could potentially put a real big spanner in the works for the Radix side. As we don't really Dom challenging on through, takes down one. Jenko does get smooth, so they have an AK in their hands. Mighty Max gets Dom, meanwhile, Logsy, and there's Jenko really doing a thorn in the side. It's a three versus two, two rifles in the hands of the XL side. This one could change so quickly. Yeah, Radix shouldn't be losing this. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the XL had pistols. Um, now they've got two AK 47s in hands. Jenko's got some Kevlar. And Mighty Max has two, even though it's light. Um, and the bomb's just only gone down. And that's Dancy's now, no, sorry, Logsy's in a 1v3 situation. And look, Jenko takes him out. The bomb's just only just been planted. They've got plenty of time to fuse, and they're going to do just that, win the round for the team, and they're going to bring up to 9 8. So, well played from XL, though. Brilliant play. Uh, just unfortunate from Radix to, to lose to an eco. Indeed, it will be a, uh, uh, a bad force, the uh, Radix side. So, XL will have their, uh, uh, have their day at the end of the day. And uh, eight to nine. Relics are not just out of the woods just yet when it comes down to this pistol. They're going to force by back into this round and try their best to uh, hit out the aggression. Very little utility on their side once again. Smuya with a smoke and a flashbang. And uh, well, actually, Logs going to be able to get himself out the full set with the uh, Tech 9 and armor. The Deagle also on uh, Dom, a smoke and a flashbang. 
for uh, him. And so far, XL, I mean, they're definitely in the driver's seat, although this could change once again a drop of a hat if Dom landed that headshot. Instead, it'll be Sligger that lands a headshot through the wall of all things against him. And now Jenko will start to clean things up. The bomb's been dropped, though. Don't have any information of it. Two picks already to the favor of XL. A great start for them. Yeah, it would have been nice to see Dom get a fuck, um, couple of eagle um, picks ah. onto... Uh, onto Long, but um, unfortunately he, uh, he he missed them, and uh, we know he's more than capable of, of doing that. But um, yeah, anyway, it, it, Craig's been put into a one v five situation. Um, not really much he can do in this situation as he gets taken out by Cryptic. So again, another round in Excel's favour. Well played from them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I do apologise for the. Uh, uh uh, the naughty words on this uh, stream, but uh, XL now 9-9 to nine here. Even things up once again against Rex, and they could take this one over the edge to, uh, well, I mean, take the lead in this case because Radix, they're down to Glocks. So they're not even going to invest a single penny into this round already. A good grenade will tag them down very, very hard, and this one should just be the run over from XL. The uh, mid to be split, or the mid to be uh, push coming in from all players. No smoke, Jenko, though. No smoke is going to leave Jenko a good opportunity just to spray down and do some serious damage, take a couple of kills. Mighty Max also chiming in as well. And on the site, Cryptic's going to get one for his, uh, for his own team. Mighty Max. And uh, Cryptic's just closing out the bomb there. It's on site. Smooya can't do anything. It's not planted. And this was going to be an easy round for XL. And indeed, it is an easy round for XL point. We are now up 10 to 9 here. Smooya just ready to die. Pull it out right there. Peculiar. Peculiar. peculiar? It's still so early. Um, anyway, <laughs> peculiar round there from Radix, opting for a mid to B, considering they didn't even have a, a smoke to uh, smoke off CT. Um, I don't know what they were thinking there. Maybe they were just trying to get onto these sites as quickly as they can to get the bomb down. But even still, as we just witnessed, it didn't work out for them. XL and now have um, 10 rounds to Radix's 9. Um, but Radix have the money finally to buy. Um, so hopefully they can claw back around and, uh, and make it 10 10. But we'll have to wait and see as, uh, as round 20 commences. Flyback is out for the Radix side this time around. XL. Opting not to buy in as much as I would like to see them do so. They've got lots of money in the bank, so they can buy in the next round, but they still got a scout on Sniggy, so he has his confidence. I think he could really be able to do some serious damage. He's already done a lot with that scout so far this matchup, but uh, we'll see how much he can do. His Dom tries to line them up. He does get one, but Mighty Max trades Cray there with another trade back to a two for one in the favor of Radix. Four versus three. Bomb making its way up towards middle, and now XL is spread thin across all sides. Dancy with the one taps, or Dancy with the one taps, excuse me. Takes down Luzza. Now XL are in such an awkward position here. Sniggy going aggressive. Can he find any kills here? If he's looking for the answer is well, actually Chris is going to take a couple right there. But don't see it there with a quick trade to bring it back to Radix. Ten to ten, they'll even things up once again. But a lot of damage to this D side. Yeah, and uh, even though XL lost that uh, that round, and uh, we can't take it away from Cryptic, so that was a great um, couple of kills that you managed to pull off on A, but obviously it wasn't enough. But even still, they've got the money to buy again, and uh, it's 10-10 on the scoreboard. A very, very close map, as we can see. But I do, I, I'm sticking to my prediction. I do think this is going to go into overtime uh, because no team is gaining any any major lead here in this second half. Okay, so that one's again for the Relic side. Again, that damage is the damage to the economy is still coming out. Uh, in its four so you can see Prey was just the attack uh, nine. Very awful uh, for him because this could be so deadly, uh, or so deadly against him here as we do see XL. Although they have lost all five of their players in the last round, uh, all the economy built up for the last few rounds is still going to play towards their favorite and AWP out on Luzza, uh, four and four to back it up. And uh, well, Ranex are in an awkward little spot here. XL have a quite a bit amount of money, so actually they should be able to buy back if they end up losing this one. A bit of a hard buy as uh, Sliggy. And the Mighty Max are on low amounts of money, but um, all in all, you know, actually, this could actually play very well towards XL if Radix are either way in this round. So Radix looking to do some serious damage. We're looking to get some rounds on the board. We're looking to take the lead once again. 10 to 10 now. Once again, the T side will stack themselves up towards the uh, long house. And uh, the uh, T CT side will once again set up their standard defenses. One towards Pit, one towards Karin. One in the middle, two on B. Here we go. Radix is going to start moving their way outside the long house in towards Long. That's brilliant, but it's a play there. I'm just just uh, mesmerised by that flash. Um, definitely helped Dom. Uh, not sorry, Dom was it? Who was in pit? I think it was Jenko Luz. I'm not too sure, but anyway, the flashbang from his teammate definitely helped him to get a couple of kills there on long. But um, they do finally have to come um, gain control here. Radix of, of site A. Saying that though, Mighty Max is storming up um, short, killing Dom with the M4 and uh, Dancy and Smoo. Now Smoo gets taken out, so that leaves Dancy in a one v three situation. Oh. He, he fakes the bomb. He stands up, kills Mighty Max, but Sliggy unfortunately is in a good position to take Dancy out and trade that. So yeah, unlucky for uh, for Radix there. I thought they were going to be able to get the bomb down, but. 
you know, it wasn't enough. And uh, XL win a second round in a row, I believe now. So that makes it, uh, yeah, they make it 11-10. It's only one round in a row, my friend. Oh, really? So, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Rex did win the last one, but in this case, with that one, it is going to be a reset. It is only one yeah. round. Can't string together a second Radix now with a force buy with pistols, P250, uh, sorry, a Tech Nines coming out, Deagles, a Scout on Dancy. But other than that, XL, I mean, they're looking more than spoilers to set this one up and take it out of the action. Two AKs recovered in that last round is going to play to their advantage. One shot headshots, even on players with head armor. AWP still on Laza XL. Not investing so hard into this round because their money is still quite a little bit shaky. But so Radix, a chance here to reset, a chance to do some serious damage to the XL point side. Now, four players stacking up towards the middle. There's going to be Cray going in towards the uh, mid to B area. A smoke off towards the uh, CT uh, area. And now Mighty Max going to spot him out, spray him down, take him down. There's Batman's coming in from the tunnels area. Mighty Max getting himself a second smooth. You're going to get one, three kills from Mighty Max as he sprays his way on towards the cluster of Radix players. Now a four on two retake coming in for the XL point side. Three players out towards middle. One coming in towards the uh, tunnels area. Dancy's on low HP with 23, and they'll set up a crossfire to try and stop anyone moving on through. Spinning with a flashbang. We'll flash him out for a little bit. Full blindness with another one coming on through. Takes down one. Smoothie doing some work. We'll take him down, but it's traded quickly. And XL will have a 12th, only losing two in the process. Yeah, there's not really much that run it's going to have done there to defend the site. I mean, there is two Ts against um, four CTs. I mean, uh, Smooth done a good job to at very least get um, a, a CT kill uh, on tunnels. But it uh, wasn't enough. Um, and XL have now won at two rounds in a row. I'm correct. <laughs> um, and now, yeah, going into round 23, unfortunately for Radix, they're going to have to um, eco again. I mean, they didn't have many rifles in the last round, and they don't have many rifles this, this round either. So what are they going to do? Probably opt for a bit of aggression. That's what I'd like to see from them right now, because that is the only thing that's most likely going to push, push XL out of the site so they can gain control of it. I mean, that's exactly what they're going to be doing. All the way into the tunnels area, cryptic sprays away. All they fall. Mighty Max getting one in the exchange as well. And Smoothie are going to be left alone once again in the one versus five. There's nothing it can do. And so far, XL almost got through that round without taking a single point of damage. A completely flawless round would have come out of the Sliggy. Able to close things out with just 73 HP on his side. Radix now with a buyback here. That last round, they had quite actually a fair amount of money actually invested into it. Not a whole lot like by comparison, but they still were able to get the Tech Nines and the uh, uh, utility out. So actually, they did have a decent chance, but it was shut down very quickly by a nice spray down by Cryptix and Mighty Max. Now they'll buy in. This is the round where we get serious, but even then, look at the utility. It is quite limited. Yeah, but uh, looking at Radix's um, economy, um, this, this round really is the be-all or end-all because if they lose this round, it looks like the XL are going to win the game because they're going to be forced back into uh, an eco again. Their economy is as dire as it possibly can be. So XL, sorry, Radix really needs to pull something in the bag. And Smooth says, I'm going to do just that as he takes out Jenko on short the AK-47. Now that just leaves four CTs against five T's. So they have the man advantage here, Radix. And they see if they take advantage of that. But Mighty Max says, no, you're not going to get away too early. And uh, he evens it up, uh, evens the playing field up. And uh, it makes it four CTs to four T's. Looks like this slowly though, Radix is going to opt for an A execute here. They do have the smokes and they do have the flashbangs, but Luzza says, oh, I've got an AWP. He takes out Cray and then Logsy does take out two. So a great double kill from him. And that gives them entry to site A to get the bomb down and uh, and plant that bomb and gain control and, and defend off the CTs. And Mighty Max, Cryptix in a 2v3 situation, two kits, full Kevlar, full health, and then for NAK. So they do have a chance to retake this site and Mighty Max proves just that as he takes out Dancy with an AK-47. A lovely shot from him and Cryptix is trying to follow Whoa. up. But unfortunately, Don 180s kills Cryptics. That leaves Mighty Max in an awkward uh, sandwich position here between Long and takes out Logsy at Long. Takes oh! out Dom as well on site. Brilliant play there from Mighty Max. We've got to give credit to the fella. That's probably going to possibly win XL the game. Four kills for Mighty Max at the end of that one. Picks up an AWP and closes it out to the 14th. And like you said, the economy for Alex actually is looking a lot better than you would have expected. So they'll be able to force buy back into this one. But this time, it will definitely be the beat or end. Or they need to win this yeah. round. Otherwise, it's eco at match point, series point for the XL side on Dust 2. Full AK buy for Radix. Limited utility once again. Two smokes, four flashbangs. And that's all they've got to work with. XL full set across the board with AWP in play as well. Once again, the fast pace. Jake, we're going to see what he can try. Slicker going to spray through. But Dancy with a spray takes down both of the long players, instant trade and instant rotation coming in from the XL side. Luzza, AWP, takes down Dancy. Nice one, back to a three on two. XL and advantage, and Radix are forced to back off and rethink their playbook.
not looking good for Radix right now. They have the bomb in their control, mind you. They got, you know, good HP, AK 47s. But going up against three CTs, one of them with an AWP, that being Luzza, um, it's going to be very difficult for them to win this round, but they need to win this round. I'm sure they're aware of how important this round is for them. Again, I know we keep saying it, but if Radix do not take this round, it's going to be extremely unlikely they're going to have any chance of getting into this game and stopping XL from winning it. Smooth, good kill though onto mid from Cryptics. Does a good job at retracting back and coming back now after that control. And they got up for a short here, but they don't know Luzza's there. But Luzza misses the shot. Good bit of damage there from the Nay, but not enough. Luzza in Mighty Max in the same spot here. This could be very awkward for, uh, for, for XL, but Radix aren't aware that they're both there. Otherwise, I would have rotated to B, right? So the bomb's going to be planted for sure. It's going to be in the control of Radix. It's to see if they can win this round. It's so important that they do. But Mighty Max is denying it. He's destroying their dreams as he kills both Smook, both Logzy, and defuses the bomb. That is a brilliant round from XL. A retake I did not expect, but we've got to expect the unexpected in Counter Strike, haven't we? Radix with their last chance gone out of the way. Actually, a fair amount of money afterwards after the bomb plant as well. Extra economy boost. So this really. I know we've said it three times in a row, I but, know, but this is really yeah. going to be the last chance for them. They have to win. They have to go to overtime. They can't let this one slip away from them because they're so close to that grand final. XL won it just as badly. And they will once again try the same thing for a third time in a row. Radix, what are you doing? This can go only south as now they'll read the utility and already there are three players there to defend. And already used pretty much 80% of their uh, economy. I'm uh, not economy, sorry, utility. Um, so they've got to commit to this. If they don't, what kind of utility they're going to be able to use to end the site B? They're already kind of committed onto A, so maybe go for it. But they're opting not to do that. They're going to try and get some mid control, get a couple of picks, and it looks like Ziggy is going to push through. Why are you doing that, Ziggy? Come on, it's in, it's in your favour. Don't do that. You're getting picked off. And uh, Mighty Max has done a great job, though, to return and, and trade those kills um, and, and kill three players. Three of Team Radix is there. Smooth does a final good job there to kill Cryptics. He's got full HP. Mighty Max only has oh 19 HP. So there's a chance he can actually pull this off, Smooth. If you play smart here, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you're capable oh of doing that. God. As he takes out Mighty Max in the smoke there. He's getting shot there by Jenko in the smoke. And uh, he's going to rotate to B shortly as fast as you possibly can. Can, no, he, he will is. Do. He's doing that. He's going to tunnels. He's got low HP, mind you, but he really needs to get onto that site, get that bomb down. There's only 44 seconds left on the clock, but look at Smooth's HP, man. He's got 10 HP. Jenko's got 100. He's got a diffuse kit, smoke. He's got things to work with. It's going to be a very hard defensive move for Smooth to succeed with. Got to succeed, though, Radix. They need to stay in this one. Excel. Playing for the series, Radix playing for overtime. Mm. 10 HP on Smuya. He's got to be so close in this one. Flashbang is running through and Smuya sprays it. away. <laughs> takes the kill. Jenko falls. We're up 11 to 15. We are not done yet. Radix are not through playing this matchup. Smu, he's trying his best to stay, keep his team in this game, and he's doing just that. And I do think that was probably the best position he could have possibly played on site B because it's very hard for the CT to see exactly where he is as he was hiding behind that box like a little ninja. And it worked out for him in the end, as we just witnessed. 10 HP as well. Brilliant play. Brilliant play from Smu. You've got to give him credit getting uh, that kill on short and also playing well that well on B. Smoo again, first kill of the round, onto Luzza, and uh, yeah, amazing. <laughs> Luzza went aggressive with an AWP, and they actually paid the price for it. It backfired. I know they like to do that. Smoo has gone up towards Dust and uh, uh, the uh, short uh, area on Dust mm. in the past, but in this case, it was way too late. Luzza had to get there up, but immediately he was too slow on the rotation. As a result, they're going to lose an AWP. It's in the hands of Smoo now, and this could be so dangerous for XL Point right now. Five on four situation. One player, Cryptic, is going peeking towards the Area gets double peaked and Dom takes it. Excuse me, takes him down. Cryptic falls and now we're out to a five on three situation. XL point might just back off. I think they're already backing off already. So Radix save themselves yet another round here. They stay in it once again. It looks like 12 to 15. They are on for overtime here. I think it's just another case of, um, of classic complacency here. I mean, XL are throwing away. Rounds that they don't need to throw away, um, especially this one here. Um, there was no need for that aggressiveness, I don't think, um, from uh, the all player that being Luzza. Um, unfortunate mistake there, and it's costly. Um, as Radix now have two rounds in a row, um, and it looks like they're going to, you know, have a bit of a make a bit of a comeback. And overtime is looking more likely now. I mean, we thought Excel going to run away with it and win the game, but it's not looking um, as, as likely as it once was, say, two rounds back.
12 to 15. I can't believe it. Radix looked like it was all done with. It looks like it was finished for them. And now they're going to have another chance, a second chance, a third chance back in this matchup here. 12 to 15. XL still holding on to their match point. But Radix so deep within contention now. XL will buy in. They'll force buy their way into this round. Still got, well, not a whole lot of money, but they're going to be able to get together everything they can. A, a big set of utility here. AWP on Luzza. Still a chance here. It's going to have to be a reset coming in this next one if Radix managed to take it against the XL side. They're going aggressive towards long once again. This has worked out good sometimes, bad some others. And right now it might end up pretty horribly if they're not quick enough because the backstab is already being set up on the XL side. Slick has got to defend this one. And already here come the utility trying to block as many people as late as he can. AWP from Smooya picks it up through the smoke. Already a great start for Radix as they'll get the bomb down and it will be a retake coming in from the XL side. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame here from XL because if they lose this round, we're going to see them eco the next. Um, and that just gonna get, that's just going to give Radix even more of a chance to make over time more of uh, a reality um, instead of a dream. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this round. They do have the members to retake this site, but are they going to be able to? I'm not too sure. So anyway, we're going to see Mighty Max push up and help his teammate Luzza and, uh, and Cryptix as they're uh, pushing up ramp. Cryptix break you onto Dom on ramp. But little do they know there's three, seat, uh, three T's on long. And the bombs party for long as well as Darcy takes full of advantage that, taking out both Luzza and Jenko. Mighty Max has followed up and kills Smooth, but is it going to be oh enough? He's got the bomb defuse. Can he defuse this bomb? Can he win the game? No! no he can't because Darcy takes him out in the end. Brilliant there. Brilliant play from Mighty Max. Good try, but it just wasn't enough as Darcy does finally kill him. Everybody dies in that round as well, so it's going to be a crucial kill, uh, a crucial damage to the amount of economy on the Radix side. They'll have to buy back into this one. So XL, well, I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to win a round anyway to win this one, but even so, Radix. They could be in an awkward spot if they lose a lot of players in this next round. XL up for an eco. P250, CZs, USPs. A couple of flashbangs on Mighty Max and Sliggy each. And right now they will stack out towards them because Relics have loved to go down this way. But this one, on the round, on the one round that XL are expecting it, they're going to be three players over towards the B site. Fortunately, Mighty Max has got a great pop flash. Takes down Smoonia, starts things off great for the XL side. Still three players over towards Longhouse. And they will peek straight into the crosshair of Cray. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, I'm just, just shocked how, how close is this game, this prediction. <laughs> Every single game has been this close. Oh. It's been amazing. And a uh, nice bit of damage there onto Cray fr and Logsy from uh, from Cryptix. But um, they're, they're falling back now and uh, just, just waiting for the T's to push. But look at this interesting little push and tunnel. They're, they're playing very aggressively here. Um, they've got really nothing, too much to lose because they, they can buy in the next round, I believe. Yeah, they can. Excel can buy in the next round if they wish to. So they still have a chance to win this game and stop overtime from actually coming around becoming a rea reality. Um, but look at this push from Dancy and Dom into B, taking out Mighty Max and, uh, and Zliggy. Now that leaves Cryptix and Loza in a 2v2 situation. Both of them, of course, have only 250s. No, no, one has an AK now, but no kits. They need to really get into this site as quick as possible. Logsy, mind you, is only on 8 HP, so this is a possible retake. It can happen, but Dancy's denying is not making this come to reality as he takes out both Loza and Cryptix. So well played from uh, from uh, Radix there to get the bomb down and, uh, and defend well and, and make over time again more reality. One round the way, it's now down to this one. Are we going to see Series go to XL or will Radix hold on by a silicon thread here for overtime, 15 to 14. Now Radix will buy up AWP out for both sides. Smuya and Mighty Max are going to be the respective orpers for this round here. And Smuya, oh, he's got to be really ramping up the pressure for him. He's got to play that orb so fantastically in this next round to have a hope of taking out the XL side. Mighty Max starts things off, tags up Smuya. Oh, only the leg comes through. And that was going to be so tragic not to have landed that entirely as you will find out later on. Already a great start from the XL side. Radix starting to move up towards middle. Smuya is actually going surprisingly aggressive, all things considered for his uh, HP. But uh, this mid to B could be so good right here as Mighty Max goes peeking. Yeah, she takes the AWP straight to Dancy, takes him right at the action. And now Radix are finally down a man with one more on just 8 HP. They will stack up towards short and try this push for what I think is the first time this half so far. Yeah, Dancy's obviously um, dead. The smooth's only got um, 8 HP, so... Um, <clears throat> 
It's going to be interesting to see whether or not Ralexon can actually stay in this and, and bring it to overtime. XL are looking more and more likely they're going to make it 16 to 14 and, uh, and win this game and win this best of three and win this cons and consolidation final. Um, nice little interesting boost here from Spoo, but unfortunately for him, there's no really on, on site. Luz is playing from, uh, oh. from, from crossover and uh, looks like he's going to take advantage oh. of that. But look at that jump. Uh, from Spoo, brilliant kill from him uh, onto Luz of the AWP. And, uh, you know, jenko has got to do something here and he doesn't do anything apart from cause some damage onto one of the T's, but Smoo takes him out immediately and that leaves Liggy, Mighty Max and Cryptix in a 3v4 situation. Obviously, Logsy, Smoo have low HP, Dom have uh, has a fall, so does Cray. So, three takes going to be half of them, but they're going to get it a go. They have to give it a go. They don't want it to go to overtime, surely. So, they're going to have to try their best to get onto site and and, uh, and defuse this bomb that's been planted now for a good few seconds. Great oh. shot from Mighty Max and the Smoo. Great headshot with the AWP. Oh, oh my god. god! Amazing play there. Shooting through the wall. Good prediction there. Good kill onto Logsy. Cray does follow up and gets the trade. Finally, on Cryptix, though. But is it going to be enough? It is planted on, on short. But look at the Molotov. Look at the flashbangs. It's going to be enough to defuse the bomb. They're going to win the game, XL. 16 4 14. Brilliant play, great teamwork from the team XL, unlucky for Radix, but that is them winning the Confederation final, we'll play it overall.